Welcome to TradersArmy.com, defending your right to build wealth and preserve capital for generations to come. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Wednesday morning edition of the Daily Market Commentary. I am your host, Chuck Fulkerson. I hope everybody had an amazing trading day yesterday as we begin on the 6th of March, 2019. For those of you new to the channel, do me a favor, click that subscribe button down below, hit the notification bell so you get updates as they come available. So let's dive right in. Um, not a whole lot to cover today, uh, as we are still kind of in between some major levels of both demand and supply. Uh, we had a pretty uh, a pretty strong, um, you know, sell off. Uh, well, not not super strong, but a little bit of a sell off yesterday uh, towards the end of the day, and uh, but did not come to our levels, right? Didn't come into our into our very strong levels of, of either demand or supply, uh, and we, uh, we 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 you know sold off a little bit, but not enough for us to really enter into a position. And what we're really seeing now on this four hour time period, um, that continual slowing of momentum. Right, our momentum is still kind of continuing to be uh, to be weakened uh, and and definitely showing some some weakness. This 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 one big red candle would be called price shock. Price shock is when you have big candles the opposite direction of your predominant trend, and price shock is definitely something to be uh, concerned with, right? When we look at a when we look at a chart and we look at at, uh, at price shock, it is something for us to to be aware of. And overall, you know, when I look at, for example, taking a look at the VIX, and and I don't typically use the VIX all that often, but looking at the VIX, we can see. Uh, that over the last couple of days, as the market has been chopping sideways, we've got a little bit of a rise in the VIX, not a huge one, um, but something to at least consider, uh, you know, concern ourselves with for the most part. Now, interestingly enough, if you are uh, in something like the SPY, uh, your, let me throw a study on here. This is our Traders Army Implied Volatility Study. Um, we're in the lower 20% of our implied volatility range, which you know, at this point means that we're low enough to simply buy a call or buy a put. You know, that's what we do in the lower volatility ranges. So with the market kind of chopping along, right, and a whole lot of sideways price action here over the last couple of days, there's nothing wrong. Um, we are actually in a, you know, kind of a right, right in a little daily supply area. There's nothing wrong if you've got some other bullish positions to look at a potential, maybe even a put option as a hedge. Uh, you know, on your on your bigger picture positions, just with the market kind of giving us that that slowing of momentum. I'm not willing to be bearish at this point because the market has not told me to be bearish. Um, however, I will consider um, uh, a put as a uh, as a way to to kind of look at it. Even better, maybe it's an opportunity to to look at options on futures, right? So options on futures. I've had a lot of people ask me recently about trading options on futures. And utilizing maybe options on futures as a way to to speculate a little bit more time involved on the speculation uh, of these options on futures, but there's a there's a lot of liquidity, a lot of choices to pick from, um, you know, when you dive into that. So if you want to learn more about options on futures, do me a favor, leave a comment down below. Um, I may I may be able to put something together to talk a bit more about it. I've had a few people ask me about it recently, so I thought I would at least touch on it here today. All right, so let's take a look over at the NQ. Uh, the NQ also between our levels, we still have a confirmation uh, supply up here as a uh, as a potential for a reversal. Remember that was on a 15 minute chart. It was a confirmation level because it wasn't the greatest of areas, and then we almost came close to it yesterday, uh, but not enough reason for me to necessarily jump in uh, unabashedly on a uh, on a potential short trade. I'll still leave it in play. Something that may come into come into uh, you know come into action today. Uh, in crude oil, so in crude, we came really close to our entry, and boy, is that frustrating. Um, let me know in the comment section below if you did happen to jump into that thing a bit early, although it did not meet uh, the criteria for entry, so we will still leave this area here. Uh, however, because we've come so close to it, I typically will revert those to confirmation-style entries when we come that close. This one's not quite there that I have to worry too much about it, but I will convert it to a confirmation style. And remembering the reason we took that area was uh, this uh, this 
this really rally based drop in here and that lower wick there to make it kind of a two levels kind of stacked together. It's a twofer, right? It's a twofer. Um, so using uh, using that area in there. Now we've come back up to our 2 a.m. kind of uh, breakdown area and we'll see if we get a little reversal out of this. There's a potential if you really want to to give something a shot of a short right in here. It's not super high probability, um, but there I think we could get a little reversal off of this level in here. So I will put this one on. Uh, it's it's really at the close of market yesterday, uh, so it's so it's a uh, it's 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 lower probability just due to the time of day. But it, you know it is one worth worth at least paying paying attention to and having on the chart. It's a very small level, fifty six fifty four by fifty six sixty three. Let's see if we make it up into that one today for some sort of a reversal. Uh, and in the gold market, so in the gold markets, we got a little bit of a breakdown down here. Um, we, you know, we've not really come below there uh, as of yet. Got uh, we got you know quite literally. Uh, what what is that? Uh, our line is it twelve eighty two? We didn't even get a full point below. So you may or may not have gotten in. If you did get in, um, you know, we we then came right back up one, two, three, four, five, six. Not a whole lot. We didn't hit our our you know, our prior pivot. So it's still ch just kind of chopping around. So it's, you know, a whole lot of nothing happening in this position. Um, so still, I think a valid area that, that we could, that we could kind of fall down from. Next, uh, bonds, Aussie, Euro, Canadian. So in the bond market, now in the bonds, we had a level yesterday that we anticipated a, a breakdown from. We, we got a little bit of a breakdown and then it uh, it did, it went nowhere, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I use the six candle rule a lot because if it doesn't break down after that period, take a look. We came right back up into it. Now this was a confirmation style where once we got halfway in, we went right through it. So now it's no longer going to be valid to me, right? Now we are seeing a fair amount of strength in bonds, even though we're not seeing the same corresponding weakness in the equities market. So that is something to concern myself with. Uh, so for now, I'm not going to add anything new to the bonds other than our level that is up here. Um, in the Aussie, those of you that took the Aussie breakdown, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, if you took our breakdown in the Aussie, that is still running along nicely. Um, we are just about to our target. So if you if you got the target, um, you know, you're down here at 7019. We have a little confirmation long entry in here. Uh, but remember that our big picture is now firmly, you know, entrenched to the downside which is why this confirmation is a bit weaker of an entry. So just be aware of that heading into that region. Uh, in the Euro, oh, this is frustrating. Came super close to our Euro entry, did not get filled. Have to switch this now to a confirmation style because of that almost touch level. I'm not dead on the level, um, but I will wrap some lines around it and just kind of um, put it in play here. I'm also going to look at this area up here for a potential on a reversal if we do pop up here early in the day. Uh, Canadian dollar, we have we uh, we we came back, gave a little touch and go off the level we identified yesterday uh, and have continued to move down. We're now down into the confirmation style uh, long area. So you could theoretically take that long knowing, once again, we are firmly entrenched in that downward move has kind of happened and it's here, so slightly lower probability. And if, and if you do take the long, you've got limited profit potential. I don't think it's worth taking at this point simply because my profit potential is a bit more limited. I do think there's another opportunity to get short if price comes back up uh, into a decent little supply level. Uh, Great British Pound and Japanese Yen is another example of a level that we identified. Now this one, we did get a little touch and go off of that level, but we've not really done a whole lot of movement since then. So if you decided to close this thing out, I think that's not a bad plan, not a bad idea. Lock in some profits, move your stop to break even, because uh, it doesn't look like we're getting a huge reaction off of this level. So a nice little profit for that one. Uh, let us know in the comment section below if you're able to catch up on that one. Japanese yen still in between some levels. You know, we talked yesterday about, about a potential breakdown um, below this area here um we we got and we're still kind of chopping sideways so you know this looks a little bit like gold right in that in that we we got a little bit of a touchdown and it's chopping around but could still continue its move uh to the downside 
uh, copper after our rally up off of our demand level. A couple of you guys grabbed that for a little bit of a profit. We've got some supply up above us in here. And then Nat Gas. So Nat Gas, I talked yesterday about how this level is getting weaker. Um, we still haven't really traded deep enough into it for an entry as of yet. Uh, and now we're basing below it, right? So I will remove this level. It's no longer going to be one that I am interested in looking at. So hope you guys have an absolute tr great trading day today. If you've got any questions, please send me an email, support at tradersarmy.com. I will talk to you all soon.